Look who decided to show. What the hell was that noise? Uh, <laughs> look who decided to show up this morning. Is my microphone on? It is. Cool. <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Andy Cortez. I'm here with Joey Noel oh, hey guys. Takegami. Yeah. And that's we a have cool name. Kevin Mikael Kenevevo Coelho back there. No, that's not right. None What's your middle name, right. Kevin? It doesn't matter, dude. Let's move on. But I want to know. I don't like my middle name. You don't like your middle name? No. A lot of people don't. What's wrong? What's up with that? I don't know. Are I you... like mine. You don't have name? one, right? Andy? Whoa. <laughs> cool. I, I, I don't have a middle name. And I you feel don't? like I feel like those of you so with middle names Latin should feel lucky. Is that a Latin thing? Yeah. My brother has a middle name though. Damn, your parents just didn't like you. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's I really know, what it I is. Know. What's, what's your, you Are think... you named after like a family member that also didn't have no, a middle name? No, no, no. They, 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 they're contemplating naming me Andrew. And what's your brother's middle name? My brother's middle name is Michael. What's your dad's name? Uh, Hernan or Ernie. So they're like Andres, and or I think my dad wanted Andres, and my mom wanted Andrew, uh, and my dad was like, well, "What about Andres Andrew?" They're like, "No, too repetitive." Yeah, it's too much. Uh, too many Andes in in one little name right you there. They just they were kind of like, "Ah, he's not as important. Let's just give him one name and be done with it." I think they just assume like, "What's he ever gonna do with his life?" Right? How many last names do you have? One. I wish I wish my parents did the hyphen thing. Oh, it sucks. I don't Wait, like is yours hyphen. hyphenated? Yeah. Really? really? Well. Yes, but like, it's not like they didn't do that on purpose. That's just how like Latin last names yeah. are. Uh, but actually, when certain, I, par- certain Latin last names are not all I, of them. Yeah. When I got married, I got rid of the the hyphenated part. Mm. Yeah, my full name is Kevin Andre Coelho. Andre, Luque. that's right, that's yeah. right. And your wait, and your brother has the same. Spencer Manuel Coelho. Oh, Luque. never mind, never mind. I'm actually, thinking... he's just Spencer Coelho. Uh, Spencer Manuel Coelho. No Luque on that one. No Luque, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Maya, I have two friends who have the same first name and different middle names. Wait, what? They're brothers. That's weird. Yeah. That is... What's the first name? Uh, Victor. And so they're they're, la- bo- they're both Victor. Yeah, they're both Victor, but it's Victor what the fuck? Victor Ivan Longoria and Victor Andre Longoria. Do people call? Do they go by their middle names? I I mean, when I only knew the older brother, he was Victor, and then we met his little brother. At the time, he was like two years, two or three years younger than yeah. us. But then we eventually grew up and just all became kind of the same group of friends. But yeah, so when I'd be in their house, they would call the little brother Andre mm-hmm. and then Ivan. So they'd go by their middle names. Very so bizarre. So why would you just not give them different first names? And right? The same why not middle switch name? it up? Yeah. Like my nephew, for example, uh, is named uh, Aaron Nathan Cortez, mm-hmm. but we call him Nathan. So I don't get it. That's my cousin too, and, and we've never called him by his real first name ever. I don't ever get it. Since like born. most people in my mom's family are called by their middle name. So my mom, her name is Lucy, but everyone growing up has has always called her Yola, because her middle name is Yolanda. Mm, sure, sure, yeah. sure, sure. It's weird. And Yolanda like Salivan, what a fucking devil, dude. You can go to hell for killing someone. I say something, man. I yeah. named my pet my pet hamster after his mom. I love his mom. She was a really important lady to me growing up. I remember being. I want to say like sixth grade and their phone ringing and I answered it and they're like, oh, can I speak to Lucy? And I'm like, nah, bro, and hung up or whatever. <laughs> and Doreen came and told me, hey, you know, that's my mom's name's well, Lucy, Lucy, right? It was, are you fucking serious? It's not Yola? You've been lying to me my whole life? That's crazy. <laughs> the revelation, stunning revelations here on the kind yeah. of funny morning show. Good morning, guys. This is the morning show. We talk about, we try to talk about news sometimes. Uh, we got, we actually have some news today. We got some interesting hot scoops coming straight out of the oven this morning. Uh, a little bit uh, undercooked, so you might get a little. Uh, what does little that stum- mean? What are you stum- saying? What do you mean? Oh. Like the news, do, the scoops are coming out of the oven, right? They're super are you, are you just the saying you haven't read the articles? Is that what you're saying? Huh? I said, are you saying you haven't read the articles? Is- Mm-hmm. No, I just mean like they're brand, they're fresh, they're brand new. So we they might didn't, not have all the details. They didn't happen last night. I mean, even if they did happen four weeks ago, I still wouldn't have all the details because I wouldn't read the, the article. Okay, so that's exactly what you're saying. Sure. <laughs> um, but under the guise of it's right. new news. Right. Sure, sure. I love the other day because uh, I was trying to, I was going to say like we hadn't fully digested them and therefore like maybe they're overcooked or undercooked and they're going to give us a little stummy, uh, tummy ache. Um, it reminded me of the one time, Kevin, on one of the morning shows where we were talking about was it a morning show or maybe an MCU where I mentioned if you eat cookies that are too straight out of the oven, if you, if you, don't, if you don't let them cool down, that you'll get diarrhea. Right. And, Is that a thing? And, I don't think that's a thing. No, it's not. So Kevin was like, no, I don't think that's a thing. And everybody in the comments was like, 
Andy, bro, like I'm Mexican too. We've been lied to our whole lives. Like our parents just told us that. <laughs> and it's, it made no sense because I remember like my mom would make chocolate chip cookies and she'd be like, don't eat them when they're on the table because you're going to get diarrhea. Like if they're too hot, you got to let them cool down. That's crazy. And it's, and I've just, I've lived with that fact my whole life, that fact, right? Yeah. And then every, there was like three other commenters that are like, dude, I'm Mexican, I'm Hispanic too, man, and that shit's not true. <laughs> like, <laughs> we, our parents just told us that. My That's never, amazing. My mom never made us cookies, so. Really? Oh, yeah. Things got real dark. Oh, is that, you don't have cookies? You don't I have mean, cookies over there? We never, we never had any. I mean, you could just, what, I mean, like a convenience store? No, well, I mean, no, that we had, a, we never bought cookies that way either, but like, I'm just saying, like, I never had the, like, had to get lied to about cookies being. Oh, yeah. got it, got it, got it. Like the Toll House ones. I mean, I don't even know if they're a Toll House. I don't know what they were. They were just like Actually, the probably. the roll. Yeah, the roll. You put them in a little thing or whatever. Anyway, we can this make is the, you some cookies, Kevin. This is the morning we, show. We don't have an oven here, though. We have a pizza oven. We, we you know what? We've made pizza uh, cookies in there. I think. Oh yeah 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 yeah. We can do it. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Here on Twitch.tv slash Kind of Funny Games. Uh, again, we have some brand new spanking news coming out. On the wire, hot on the wire. But first, uh, let's get to housekeeping, Kevin. Housekeeping, you want me to jerk you off? What kind of hotel is this? Joey, the guys are in uh, EGX, EGLX. <laughs> <laughs> They're in, or on, on route, on route. I guess route. Nick's already there, right? I think, well, they left at 7.30 this morning, so I don't know how time zones work. Oh, I thought Nick left way earlier. No, his was seven thirty. Oh, and I think I think I would assume they're on the same flight. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got they it, weren't. Got it. Uh, so Toronto, watch out, Greg and Nick coming for you, dressing for Ghostbusters for really no reason other than they have these costumes yeah. and they want to wear them. It's almost Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, but even if it wasn't, I don't. I, I, I feel like I really wish still. Halloween were on the weekend. I do too. Yeah. It sucks that it's on a Wednesday. Every year that it isn't, is it's it's always the like, God, it sucks. But in like two years, it's going to be on a Friday, so that's exciting. Here's an here's a, a interesting tidbit about me. At when Halloween was during the week as a kid, I loved mm -hmm. it because I didn't want to go trick-or-treating. What? I didn't want to go. I didn't want to stay out late. I wanted like, Who are you? I didn't want to go to haunted Wait, houses because I was guys, scared. Are you guys done talking about this? Or? No. Uh, go to kindoffunny.com slash EGLX to see where you can find the guys. Now we're done talking about it. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to go to haunted houses as a kid because I was a little scaredy cat. And so if the, if it was on a weekday, I knew, oh, I'll have school tomorrow. I won't have to stay out late. Good for me. Wait, that's so Did you do weird. scary stuff as a kid? Because I don't, I feel like all of the scarier activities I didn't do until I was older. Yeah. No, but I mean, I still had like... Curfew or there whatever. Was, I mean, there were still haunted houses that like your parents would take you to. I'm not even talking like going to haunted houses with your friends or whatever oh, okay. in middle school. <laughs> Like even in elementary, you know, you went with your cousins and your and my older brother oh, I and my, you know. I was too much of a baby. Every year, I was a little baby. I like specifically one year, but this happened a lot. Every year, I would dress up for Halloween. We'd go trick or treating, and it was a lot of fun. But mm -hmm. every year, like I remember having like stupid masks. Like one year, I was a gargoyle, and it was like the big, like from the cartoon. Yeah, 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 yeah a big foam gargoyle mask, hmm. and I just would run into things. Like you just couldn't see. Yeah, because uh, the mask always would move around. I got a little, a little face, bit. and I would hit stuff with my face. And every year, I remember the the mask being bloody on the inside. <laughs> oh my, my god! Gosh. Yeah, no, I Jesus. would hit things hard, and my nose would bleed. So, but I still loved it. it didn't stop me. Everybody, then, Photoshop challenge. Photoshop Kevin as a gargoyle from the cartoon. But with oh, a bloody gargoyles. nose. No, oh. just you as one of the gargoyles from the cartoon. Oh, okay. Photoshop good, his face show. on it there. The great face. You know what I mean. Uh, and then, would you guys pull your, like, what, what was your Halloween, like, routine? Because what we would do is we'd go, my mom would take us in a car to a fancier neighborhood, right? Mm -hmm. To get the good chocolate bars. Oh, yeah. And we would hit every street as hard as possible, and my mom would take us to another area. And we would go, we were really, like, moving. Like, the, the goal was to get as much candy as possible. Then we'd come home, and we'd kind of, like, open up our piles and, like, organize what we liked and stuff. And my mom would come around and be like, well, I like all the Twix bars, so give me those. Now, Do you guys have ex any experience? Our, yeah. our, my experience, Kevin. I'm listening. Um, was go, going with family and cousins and stuff and being picked up, going to a cousin's house, and then we would sort of uh, dominate the RGV from that point. And, of course, there were the richer neighborhoods mm -hmm. that uh, a buddy of mine, a close friend of mine, Javi, lived in. 
where that's where they would give out the full size ones. Ooh. Oh yeah. The, the full size Snickers, full size like Reese's and stuff. That's where you wanted to be. Now you, you were only getting one or two at a time, so you get the question of like you know quality, quality or quantity, quantity, right? Like, do I want a bunch of little fucking dots gummies? I love the dots gummies. You love oh the gummies, not the ones that are on the paper that you like peel off. No, the ones those, in the box. Suck. The ones in the box. The yellow box. I love was, what were the, what were those, the, chew, uh, buttons. Ju, no, juju beans. No. Juju bees are similar, but they're more juju fruits. Juju fruits and juju bees are kind of the same. Juju Schuster Smith. But they're harder than the dots. Got it. Got it. I love dots. You know, hard to chew on. Yeah. But the end result is uh, is really Sugar. rewarding, right? Um, Snickers is my go-to though. Really? Yeah. I saw this. Uh, I saw uh, Lawrence from Funhouse reply to this really analytical tweet from 538 about like the most popular candy for Halloween. Yeah. And I think number one was like Twix. Fixes and then good. Reese's was on there. Snickers was coming in hot in number three. Mm -hmm. Snickers is my go-to. What about you, Kev? My go-to? Yeah. So growing up, it was Pixie Sticks because I just wanted that oh. sugar in me as quick as possible. Sure, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. It just absorbs on your tongue. It's directly yeah. into your so blood. Yeah. yeah. I don't really like chocolate, but the little, the baby Snickers, like the square ones. Yeah, fun ones, size. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, not the ones that are like longer, but just the square ones no, yeah, that yeah, look yeah. like the foil. Those are so good. I do like a Twix, and then also Sugar Babies and Sugar Daddies. Have you ever had those? Oh, I don't like those. They're kind of chewy, chocolatey they're, and they're ones. Like, no, they're caramel. Uh, I don't like those. Those are my absolute favorite. And wh candy corn, of when course. I have when I have chocolate, now chat, if you're listening to me, uh, Kevin, can you give me the one? I need you to listen really closely, okay? Please, please heed these words. I need a little crunch with my chocolate. How do you feel about 100 grand bars? Have you ever had those? Grand. Isn't that a thousand grand? A hundred grand. It's a hundred grand. grand. They have yeah. like rice krispies. I mean, middle, well, with inflation, caramel. with inflation, it's probably <laughs> a thousand grand. Yeah, a million. <laughs> Matt Rohrbeck in the chat says, "Shout out to Butterfinger," which is one I always forget about. But whenever I have one, I'm always like I do like this, but they get weird and they get stuck in your teeth. I just remember Bart it's Simpson. Not a, it's being not in the a commercials. pretty looking. Candy. It's not. It's no, definitely not. It looks like a. It looks like a fossilized th something. Yeah. But it has little so Rice Krispies and caramel and chocolate. Yeah, I, I mean, I love crunchy texture. I need everything to have crunchy texture. So if something's soft, I always like to offset it with crunchy. We've talked about this several times, Joey. When so does I'm, this mean you don't really like most fruit candies? Not, tr uh, not true. No, no, no. Definitely, okay. definitely fruit's fine. But I even feel like with a lot of other meals, for example, whenever we go to Chipotle, Kevin, yeah. get I always have to bite into a chip. Or when I go to my favorite taco spot in Austin, Taco Deli, take a, bit, take a bite of the taco, a little chip to follow up. One, two punch. Yeah, I, I gotta have, have the, I love too. having that crunchy little texture in there. Anyway, is there any more housekeeping? Yeah. <laughs> cool, let's go on to the next one. Party mode's up, guys. You should watch it. It's really funny. Andy did a really good job. It's really funny. It's very funny. Here, here's the thing that's really encouraging about this party mode. There are so many comments that are like, I don't watch party mode, but I watched this one and I fucking loved it. And to which I said, uh, I threatened all of them. And yeah. I said, you better watch all the rest of them. It's interesting to me that out of all the shows, like there are still people that don't watch this one because I consider this like Talk one of you, like priority it when is. I want to watch the stuff that we've done. Like whenever you ask me, oh, hey, can you watch party mode? The answer is always yes. I The, the one going up this coming Wednesday uh, is a co-op <laughs> game where it was only me, Nick and Greg playing. We played a co-op game called Tie Together, a um, little indie game on, on Nintendo Switch, and I'm glad Greg recommended it because we had a blast playing it, and you were watching it yesterday yeah. while I was editing another one, uh, and you were just giggling like a little madman. That was probably the hardest I've laughed just watching a party mode by myself in a while, because it, it, somebody <laughs> says it in there where it's like the best kind of frustrating game of like, oh, yeah. how can we not figure this out? We know what we need to do. And I want to I want to clip that out. Yeah, uh, Greg says, uh, I tell you what, they're like, they're, we've played a lot of annoying ass games, and this one is like the best annoying ass game mm -hmm. we've played. Uh, next piece of housekeeping, Kev. PAX Australia happening this weekend with Australia time. I think this means it's happening now. tonight for you. Oh no, like in, wait. Five, no. Because I think they're 13 hours ahead. Yeah. Which so, means that it's midnight there, a little bit around midnight, maybe so one o'clock. So they're in, so they're in like the party six, already? 
No. No, no, no. It's midnight. So this is a it Saturday. Would be, it would be happening tomorrow to, at like 6 Oh, in eight hours for them. Yeah. So eight, tonight eight for them. Hmm. No, not eight hours. That would be like. It started last night, says the LG. Well, it's not that hard. 17 a.m. on Saturday. So it's so, happening yeah. tonight for you in Australia. What? 12, 14, 14 hours, hours from now? But then if you're not listening to it live, then who really knows? So if you watch, if people in Australia are watching this when they wake up in like two hours, it's going to happen in like 10 hours. Yeah, and you should go. <laughs> Lexi, Lexi Gunner says, Kevin in time zones. <laughs> I, I still think that was a valid argument. Like, who decided East Coast time was the best coast time for, for sports? I don't know. Uh, Y'all just great. dumb for not understanding my question. It's, it's great. Okay, Anyways, Google. Yeah. Go to it. Tweet at King Frogby. Okay, Google. What time is it in uh, in Australia? I just Melbourne. Told it's 5:17 a.m. The time in Canberra, Australian Capital Territory, Australia is 5:17 a.m. on cool. Saturday. Cool. Thanks, Google. I hadn't heard anybody say it before. I know. Thanks, Google. I'm glad that we have Google to yeah. provide us with that kind of information. Yeah, definitely. Me too. Shout out to me. Google for getting it done. Yeah. You know, you know, you, here's my argument, Kevin. Everybody gives a shit about a uh, guy. I see so many times. Oh, he's. So many tweets that are like disparaging Android users. Motherfuckers, you use Gmail, you use Google Calendar, <laughs> you true. use Google all the time. Yep. This is their phone. Yeah. You're not using Apple Maps. Huh? You know? Because Apple Maps sucks. Apple you're not Maps using Apple Safari, Apple. you're using Chrome. And that's why you're late to everything, Joey. No, I'm late to everything because I just don't care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, sure. Sorry, King Ravel, I, I activated your phone. Sorry about that. Anyway. Apparently you're turning on people's it's phones, cool. which I appreciate. Oh. That's, my, that's my rant right there. Um, cool, I guess that does it for housekeeping. Um, really cool yesterday, though, I saw, I put it on the Kind of Funny Instagram, which you should follow, because we're going to try to be a lot more active there, stories-wise. Um, so, like, if you ever, like, if you're watching us, put us up in a story. And either us. me or Joey will see it, and then I'll put it on our story. And be like, hey, look, this person's watching us, or whatever. Um, uh, yesterday, PAX Australia, post the official PAX Australia Instagram, posted a photo of just different fans there. Uh, and there was a young lady there with the kind of funny bridge shirt. It was dope. Uh, yeah, so I, I put it up are. on our story. Yeah, oh, let I us know. know. That's cool. Thanks for watching. Thanks for giving a shit. Um, we appreciate it. Uh, Kevin, let's move on to the news. The news. Breaking news just happened moments ago. <laughs> That's moments. not true. It was 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Well, I mean, again, I mean, time that zones. Is moments. Kevin. Ten time it's zones. Just a lot of them. 10 a.m. Yeah. during our time zone. Many moments. Many moments. At least 400 moments. 400 ago. moments. In the exact moment calculation. American Vandal canceled after two seasons of Netflix. Shocking. This is upsetting. It's shocking <clears throat> because the mentality is when a show gets canceled, Netflix will pick it up. Who's going to pick this up now? Why is it canceled? Know. Did it not do well? Let's read the story, Kevin. I'm wondering, it, uh, here's the thing. I'm assuming it did really well. I'm yes. wondering if it wasn't worth the effort of production and maybe there was just too much money put into it. Uh, American Vandal's been canceled on Netflix. Variety has learned the half-hour mockumentary series launched its second season on the streaming service back in September. An individual with knowledge of the situation said that other platforms have expressed interest in continuing the series. Maybe we'll see this on a little Hulu or something. American Vandal will not return for a third season. We're very grateful to the creators, writers, cast, and crew for bringing their innovative comedy to Netflix and to the fans and critics who embrace its unique and unconventional humor. Um, pretty so, shocking. Yeah. So I was reading a different article, but it might still be in this article, that Netflix is starting to cancel projects that are in collaboration with uh, like outside studios because it ha leads to licensing issues. See, and but all those who rights. is this tied to? Uh, is it? That's what I'm confused by because I just thought this was like an in house. Isn't it not like Funny or Die or like one of those weird things? Um, the series star. Oh, series think... was produced for Netflix by CBS Television Studios, oh, Funny or Die, and Three Yards. The series uh, received widespread acclaim upon its debut, holding a 97% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. That's crazy. Yeah, uh, won a Peabody Award in its first season, for, was nominated for an Emmy in the Outstanding Writing for a Limited Series category. Part of the decision to cancel the series was no doubt because it was produced for Netflix by an outside studio. You're right, Joey. The streamer 
uh, like most of in the TV space, is increasingly looking to produce things in-house in an effort to control the global rights to a project. Because I've heard smatterings that this is also why Orange is the New Black is getting canceled, which I know Kevin has big thoughts on because you're not, you don't I, think it's good I, anymore, I think right? that it lost its magic. Cool Greg liked a lot, the most recent season. Yeah. I, I mean, the most recent season was cool. It took place, I think, over like two days only. But That's a it lot. Just, I didn't like when How I Met Your Mother did that. I, I just thought like the, the, the newest season, the last like two seasons where it's like, oh man, you were really trying to make this a longer thing where they, they're, they're pulling this small book into some big, long thing. And it's like, you could just stop. And like they did. And I'm, I, honestly, I'm happy it's over because every time it comes out, yeah. every time it comes out, I'm always like, I guess I have to watch this. But people are always like, whenever a new season comes out, I always see people tweeting and people are excited about it. Yeah. But it could just be They did space. some crazy shit at the end of the third season. Cool Greg really liked the most recent season. He was very, very up on it. Uh, so I'm sad for Cool Greg. I know. But I've um, also heard that that's why they're taking down some of those Marvel shows, too. Because of Disney? Yeah. All of the... It's all... They're all trying to keep everything in-house now. Man, I need to see Daredevil Season 3. A lot of people saying that it's incredible. People are saying it's so good. Yeah. What um, do we have to do... This weekend, I'll probably check it out. ...to get you to try to watch <laughs> The Haunting of Hill House? Dude, Andy, The Haunting of Hill House I know it's going to... I know it's incredible. I just won't do it. Like You'll just watch it like I, I saw um, a buddy of mine on Twitter say that, like, it's worth the week of nightmares and being scared around your it's house. It's terrifying, dude. I've just determined I have to watch it during the day. When I'm it's like home. light in my apartment. Paul is gone this weekend, so I'm like, and we're like, I think on episodes, we just finished episode six. Which I hear is really good. Really, really. The ending is phenomenal. I mean, I've seen just nonstop tweets about like episode six being like the best horror movie <laughs> like made in the last, I don't know how many years. Uh, now that we're talking about shows, did you guys on, uh, I think it's on Netflix, did you guys ever watch a Dark? Dark. Dark, no, yeah, but uh, Elise like, Willems yeah. loves that show. Dude. It's a subtitled show, right? It's yeah, from yeah. Germany. Well, I mean, you can, you can get a dub, too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I yeah. believe it's German, but it is some trippy shit. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah. Oh, that does sound crazy. But, but uh, so, at first, I, I thought it was going to be less of a sort of thriller horror thing, right? Because mm -hmm. it has a lot of horror elements in it. It has a lot of horror elements. I thought it was just going to be sort of like a suspenseful thing. So I was like, oh, I'm kind of in it. And then I saw... Kind of what it was about. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm kind of scared. <laughs> kind of scared. Maybe I'll watch it on my cell phone, like on a treadmill. You know so what I mean? So you feel like, like you're, you're running, running away. away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just think that too many of these shows are ongoing. Like, I think Dark would be even better if it had a conclusion. Hopefully, season two ends things, but yeah, I, I like the things that are more like bite size. Like, mm -hmm. I can, I only have to commit to this story for one season. Like, Lost was. Amazing until it wasn't because they kept going, you know. Yeah, season but I still three. Kind of liked it. Really? Yeah. It's so convoluted. It's just fucking bullshit. I, know, I have I really good like friends. Cloverfield, which is very much yeah. kind of in that vein. I have very good friends back home who like swear <clears throat> by Lost. They fucking love. Lost. I haven't rewatched it in years, so it's on my list of things to rewatch because maybe I'll feel differently now. But I, I feel like Cloverfield, though, we got like a. The, the Cloverfield Paradox kind of gave us a, like, hey, this is why this is all happening. Yeah, but I like Which all I like. the ARG aspect of it, too. And they have all the new movies coming out. We'll see if Overlord ends up turning into something in that universe. Ooh, Sabrina came out today. I, I almost stayed up to watch it, and then I was like, can't do this. I have to go to bed. Gotta go to this bed. This sucks. I have to wait for Paula to come back so I can watch that, too. That sucks. She's coming Next back on Sunday. Store. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Random, okay, is that Charlie just in the... Um, oh, it's my buddy's chub. Just yells Tales from the Crypt, which is so weird because I had a in-depth conversation last night about Tales from the Crypt. It's like a horror anthology movie and how I was getting that confused with Creepshow. And is that was just weird. Is it a TV weird. show too? Uh, I only ever watched the movie. Tales was, from the Crypt? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just knew it as like the yeah. show on HBO. Yeah, it was like a 70s movie. and then freaky. I think Creepshow is probably the same thing where it was... A movie, and then they did anthology. So <laughs> it went on for several seasons. So he would like seven seasons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I the one I watched cool was from like the seventies. As soon as I, I would like see the movie. intro turn on, I was like, Nah, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. No. So now I was too young for that shit. I love all the same with like, Are you afraid of the dark? <gasps> also my favorite. When you that intro like the started, Goosebumps I was like, show? I'm out, dog. It turns out you are afraid I like of the dark. I like the Goosebumps one. Really? Yeah. How yeah, come that is? I just don't think. I don't think it was that scary. It was less scary. It was. I feel like the goosebumps. But the mask one, I think, was terrifying. No, yeah, there are scary ish. And the one with the skeleton in the pool. But I loved Goosebumps books too. Is the thing like that's? 
Interesting. I love. I want to figure out where bugs. your line is and where we can have you watch. Just scary, scary images. images. Uh, Mr. Yasman in the chat says theory. CBS Studio, who owns Am- American Vandal, might move it to their streaming CBS All Access. I mean, yeah, so that makes exciting. sense. Yeah, I mean, that would be cool. I still don't think that that would make me sign up for. No, God, all no, access. nothing, nothing will make you sign up. But eventually, All Access will fail, and they'll have to sell that, syndicate that content to other like streaming things, can only and help. we'll get it. We'll get it. <sighs> all right, Joey, you're kind of uh, enraged about this news story. I'm very upset about this story. From Deadline, Clueless remake in early development at Paramount with Girl Strips Tracy Oliver producing. Here's the thing. I didn't even read anything past this article other than the headline because that was enough to make me upset. Why don't people just make new things? Why do we have to keep remaking things that are great? As my mom would always say, ya no saben qué hacer. I don't know. They don't, they don't know what to do anymore. Mom does it. She says that all the time, <laughs> but she's been saying that for like the last 20 years whenever a movie comes out yeah. and she'll think like, oh, this is some outlandish plot. She'll be like, you know, some kids had, they don't know what to do anymore. I know, but it's upsetting because at some point in the 90s, people were probably like, shoot, we don't know what to do anymore. And someone came up with the brilliance. That is clueless. Hmm. And now I think you just need to iterate. I, here's the thing. I feel like I would be less upset if it was some like sequel because then it still keeps the yeah. original like sacred and perfect. Right. You right. mean like like the sequel could be their daughters? Something like that. Hmm. Where I mean, it's still be like this is weird, but it's not besmirching the name of Clueless. But I also think it doesn't have to be the like daughters. Oh, well, Brittany Murphy's just be dead. Like, hey, I forgot about that. That's true. Like here's, know. you know, here's another Clueless story like uh, that is not connected. Yeah. You know, it just follows the themes of like high school and clicks. I saw a really funny image of uh, rip off Halloween costumes, and it was who's that? Who does Alicia Silverstone play? Cher. Cher. So it was Cher in like the yellow suit, her like sort mm-hmm. of yellow suit that's very very popular iconic. and iconic. And uh, you know the how they have like the rip off names. You can't call it what it is. <laughs> so it was like it said Notionless. <laughs> that's really stupid. It's I so love good. those. Those are my favorite. We should look those up actually. Yeah. Man, we, we should look that up maybe on Wednesday we'll or do Tuesday. That. Perfect. Uh, really bad uh, rip-off names. But I feel like people have been able to do cool high school stories like Mean Girls and stuff like that that kind of tap into a similar lifestyle idea as Clueless. Yeah, taking you back there to and re- like, totally redo it. Having you relive sort of the angst of yeah. your teen years. And it's the same years. thing of like, oh, they want to fix this new girl. <laughs> oh, it is Dana Schwartz. She's one of my favorite people to follow on Twitter. We'll go through... Some of these maybe yeah. next week. We could definitely follow that thread. That's funny. All right, next news story. Oh, this is another one for me. I just saw this, which I really liked, but I also thought it was kind of sad. It was adorable. It was the 25th, and I think maybe just 20th, anniversary 20th. of Mrs. Doubtfire 25th, coming sorry. out. Which makes me feel really old. Like, was I really four or five when Mrs. Doubtfire came out? Because yeah. I remember really liking it. I remember it. being like 10. Yeah. So I guess well, I was only five. I feel like things were different when we were little, where it's like, we didn't watch it when it came out. We probably watched it a couple of years later when it was on TV. No, because I think... Or like I, VHS or something. Know. Yeah, or VHS, yeah. Yeah. Either way, still. Great movie, still great world. movie. So, uh, is Sally Fields taking the photo, or what's up? Sally Fields is on a book tour. That's why she wasn't there, because I did oh, some research, and Sally. I was really sad that she wasn't there. Come on, Sally. Um, But you have the three kids. It took me forever to remember the girl in the red dress. I totally forgot that they had an older what? sister right. in it, because she doesn't. She looks the she most different. She was the different. jerk. Yeah. Does she? No way. The little kid looks the most different. The little girl? I'd say the little, the little girl. girl looks the yeah. most different, for sure. Because, like, it's, it's weird, because I forgot that she was a character. But, like, yeah, looking at her face, there's a post here. It's like, oh, damn, that looks like an old version of her. I think that one looks more like her than the group picture. But I also feel like because I've seen Mara Wilson in other things, like she was in Matilda and stuff like that, yeah. that maybe I was more familiar with her. Oh, Matthew shit. Lawrence looks the same. The exact He's looked same. the same since Boy Meets World. <laughs> he has not aged. Did you He's... watch Brotherly Love? Oh, yeah, Brotherly Love was great. Was so good, yeah. all three of them, even um, the annoying that, little That one. doesn't look like Matilda at all. I would not have remembered that that's who that was. Oh. Um, Matthew Lawrence also was in a really cool TV show in the a- Kevin, I'm going to need you to look this up for me. In the age of Beetleborgs and Power Rangers and all that stuff, he was on a couple of kids' shows, one of which he was sort of a hacker that would enter a cyber world, and he had a giant robot. 
That's and it was awesome. fucking cool, dude. We gotta I look this up. I Any of these names him. in there, man? Uh, let, let me look, let me look. But mid-90s, most likely. Mid-90s. Um, Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. That's the one, dude. Uh, shout out to them spelling cyber with an S. Dude, <laughs> this fucking... Dude, dude this that alliteration, so familiar. Man. Dude, this thing was so cool, Kevin. Yeah, they did spell cyber with an S. You gotta get the alliteration. I remember this. This looks like a knockoff Power Ranger. Oh, awesome he looks. He looks like Guyver, kind of, honestly. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. That was an Oh, ad. shit. Oh, Nutcracker. Okay, yeah, now we're good. stuck on this. All good. Dude, it was so cool. So, so This is a knockoff Power Rangers. So, no, no, no. So what they would do, they'd be, like, in their, like, headquarters or whatever, and they would hack into the world to, like, fucking beat up viruses and stuff. It was so awesome, dude. Shout out to Did Matthew Lawrence. Did it have a Lawrence, cool man. theme song? Uh, I don't remember the theme song. But I remember the theme song to Big Bad Beetleborgs. Oh, let's watch this, Kevin. This is going to get us claimed. A good idea. No, it's not going to get claimed. Oh, we said that about Mr. Bucket, and I feel this like... all that shit. Nobody knows this anymore. The evil Kilocon lives inside computer circuits. With the help of Malcolm Brink, he creates megavirus monsters to so attack tight. electronic systems. So that's the bad kid? Freak accident turns Sam Collins into Servo. His friends join forces in their samurai's attack vehicles. Yeah. Is this just an ad or is this a... The superhuman samurai cyber I feel like a lot of them used to do more exposition in the intros. Yeah, but it's cool when they do it as Dude, part of the Dude, he plays song. guitar? Look how cool he is! He had that, like, mid-90s spoofy hair. Yeah, dude. Oh, look at Glenn. I don't know who that is, but he looks rockin'. Troy, Kevin Look Castro, the drums. Robin Mary she Florence. She has that blossom hat. Yeah. They had a principal too. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, fuck it. And somehow. Tim Curry, holy oh, crap. Oh, yeah, holy shit. That's nuts. What the hell's that? An aftermath. <laughs> <laughs> And then somehow oh, Bulk and Scully are still in there. <laughs> <laughs> They're a little bit older, though. I love still it. Still going back to high school. Dude, that show ruled. I think yeah. he was also on... Uh, Kevin, can you go back to his IMDb? <laughs> I also believe that he was on Carbon San Diego, one of the versions where of it. in the world is... Like, either... Oh, wait, he was also on Blossom. That's weird. I didn't either even Where in that. Time... No, he wasn't. Damn it. Where in Time is Carmen San Diego. That was the one that I watched more. Than War in the World. I watched War in the World, and then, but I played the Where in Time is Carmen San Diego PC yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, that definitely was dope. played that one. Very, very cool animations I watched that on that all the time. Or played that all the Dude, time. Shout out to Matthew Lawrence. I bet he's got some cool stories. We got to get him on a gog. What do you think he's doing? Like, what is he doing currently? Let's see. Scroll down. Hanging out with the people. Oh. Hanging out with the people from Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> like, does he? Is he do? He was on Girl Meets World for a little bit. I remember that being a big deal when he like came back. Is that show still running? Uh, I don't think so, but Only I one also way don't to know. know. Hold on. Did you ever watch? No, I think it got canceled. Yeah, yeah 2017. Wow. Um, workaholic. Just a handsome dude. Enjoyed. I always, I always like wanted to be him. I liked all of the Lawrence. Well, him and what was the older? Little one? brother could get the Joey? fuck out of here. Little yeah. brother was a little fart knocker. I wonder what he's doing. What's I don't even remember his name. Andy. Andy Lawrence, yeah. Wait, what are you guys talking about? Oh, his little brother. The little Lawrence. Yeah. Did you ever watch uh, that that show, Kevin? The uh, what was it called? Brotherly Love. Brotherly Love. I don't think they so. They were in Philadelphia. It was all the Lawrence brothers just hanging out and just being brothers. Like, you know. Joey had like a cool like adult loft. And typical I was like, wow, brother this is hijinks. Like the coolest. Joey was always kicking the kids out because he wanted to like. No. Something no. Else. No, it's not. It was a TV oh, yeah, show. Yeah. It's not a 2015 movie, no. It was like Definitely maybe 2003. Out. No, way earlier than that. No. Really? 2003? I was like in high school at that point. That's There's true. no way. 1995. 1995. <laughs> Jesus, Joey. I don't know how time works. <laughs> that was a decade earlier. <laughs> Maybe Brother I just love. watched a lot of reruns on the Disney Channel. Because this seems like this would be an after-school rerun show. It's possible. Holy shit, Slappy Badger gifting a buttload of subs. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, we should probably get into tips and stuff. Oh yeah, we haven't done that. We're taking a cool. long time here. Sorry about that, guys. We're having fun. We're having fun, a, Kevin. These are the shows I like. When you we know? just like go off of weird random tangents. Yeah, we just like go on. Too. We just go on. Um, if you had to pick, sorry, one more thing. Oh if you had God, to pick between one Lawrence brother to come on the show, like if we were going to campaign to get one of them, who do you think it should be? 
I would go for uh, Matthew Lawrence because Lawrence? of his not only uh, Miss Doubtfire mm -hmm. background, but Boy Meets <laughs> World is huge. And you're super cyber, whatever. Super, super human, cybernetics, teenage cyber squad. That's, That's so many words. <laughs> That's way too many words. Joey Lawrence, whoa! Um, I also really liked Melissa and Joey. Joey Lawrence kind of looks like a... And my also fake fiance. In also in Blossom. Were yeah, that's all where in Blossom? No, that's Joey. Because yeah. he Blossom also came up on oh, Matthew, Matthew Lawrence's Oh, maybe too. he popped up as a little cameo or something. It's definitely possible. Okay, I'm going to scroll down so we can read it. M Random 1SC says, did, you, did anybody watch Sequest? Yeah, I watched the shit out of Sequest. Rest in peace. Uh, what's Was that face? like ocean robots? Mm -hmm. uh, kind of something like that, yeah. Were they like Animorphs in that they were animal shaped? No, 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 okay. no, no. Never mind then. It wasn't animal that sort of shape. They're not animal shaped. What do you mean? Animorphs is not animal shaped. But no. I meant like animal shaped uh, like robots. Ro like Zords? No, yeah. no, nothing like that. Okay. Zoids, I mean. Uh, Fargo Brady tipped us a healthy amount. Good lord, Fargo Brady, and said, Happy Friday. Thank you very much. That's crazy. Who? Fargo Brady. Oh my god, Fargo Brady. Dude, Fargo Brady's been... Uh, yeah. Supporting yeah. left and right. Yes. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you Fargo so Brady. much. Holy shit. Uh, Reverse Corey tipped us with 69 cents, which I... More than 69 cents, but I appreciate that you put the effort of the 69 cents in there. Then just scheduled an interview for a game studio in Austin. Wish me yuck, hey, luck. Hey, good luck. We're crossing our fingers for you. You're going to kill it. We hope. Um, Panzer. G2. We gotta, we gotta it's always Panzer out. G2. It's Panzer G2. G2. Yes. It's not Panzer. Nope. Panzer G2. Okay. Uh, fun fact. Actually, he the G2 comes because he really likes the G2 pilot pens. Is that really? Shut up. No. That's That'd like, be cool. Because I really like the G2 Office pilot Depot, pens. Depot, Kevin did see me get to nerd out Office Depot the other day. We and both I just nerd like out, Joey. Looked at all the pens and the highlighters. They have a highlighter with a clear tip so you can see what Shut you're your highlighting. Mouth, bro. It's the best. Whoa. I'll look it up, guys. Um, Maybe order some for the office if you need I, I would use highlighters if we had them. Said the real dream team. Take, please take this money and buy Kevin some homemade cookies and maybe a milkshake. Aww. Here's a fun... <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Kevin's like, oh. <laughs> Here's a fun clip. It sucks because I'm not a fan of this fun clip. Have you guys seen this but before? I, no. I will watch it just because... Because I've never it. seen it? I don't, I don't hate it. All right, here we go. So the mom jumped off. I'll show the whole thing. Yeah. Kids are learning to dive. Hmm. And those little kids, little kids freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I do kind of like it. Yeah, I guess so too. I guess I do kind of like it. We gotta, we gotta like work it. on bringing the arms up. I guess I do kind of like That's it. It's very funny. Uh, Stotzi tipped us today and said, "Do I need an EGLX ticket for the meet and greets in Toronto this weekend?" Everything that they're doing that's on the kindoffunny.com slash EGLX schedule is happening at the convention, so you do in fact need a ticket. If you want to just buy a one-day pass, like you want to just go to the meet and greet on Sunday, you can do that. Um, let's see. Wait, quick shout out to these highlighters. Look how cool these highlighters what are. The so they're clear, freak? so you can see through them. Oh. So, because I feel like I always over-highlighted like the first part Everyone of the next word. Everyone does. No one doesn't. That's this really is like cool. a game changer. I also showed Kevin these like um, they were almost like crayon highlighters. They were gel ones. I'm not a fan of those. Which I really like. And there's, do you remember the highlighters that crayon? were like? You ever see that debate? Crayon or crayon? I hate it. I, hate I don't that. like it's it. crayon. See, those are the gel ones, and I really like them. I just these? think that they're cool and they're different. Is it this? But why Why different? They nailed it already, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I like I like it because it doesn't bleed through the pages. I You're think, highlighting man. too intensely. I just think sometimes textbooks have really thin pages. I'm just saying use a lighter, a lighter dab. I don't think that that really Shout matters. out to the person who mentioned Cousin Skeeter. It's a great show, too. Okay, you're um, And then, did you ever see the highlighters that were, like, white-out tape and you could erase? Oh, yeah. Those were also really yeah. cool. Yeah. You know what I hated? The, the hey, erase, erasable pens. That was bullshit. That shit did not Man, work. Dude, they tried hard, though. They tried hard, like, Kevin. That That's was like 3D were... TV. Yeah. Yeah, but 3D TV is a good product. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, keep going. Uh, hi, uh, erasable pens were all they would let us use when we were first, like, allowed to use pens. Because they were afraid we were going to, like, fuck oh, shit up. Got it. Um, Colton Nessler said, I know that Nick and Greg are in the big T.O., but can I get this sweet read by the number one games journalist? We're podcast listeners, so she will be surprised later. Who, where, where's the tweet at? Right in front of you. So my wife and I are listening to Game Over Greggy and Tim Gettys on the early access GOG, and Nick said something 
about his wife. My wife just sighed in disappointment that Nick wasn't single on our honeymoon. <laughs> 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 that is so great. Your wife sighed in disappointment that Nick is married on your honeymoon. What a fantastic tweet. Thank um, you, Colton Nestle. That's a great tweet. Thank you, man. I also like the addition of the uh, Jim Carrey All right. gift. Yeah. Then. It's perfect. We're sorry, but congratulations on getting married. We're sorry. We're sorry about the divorce. Honeymoon. Sorry, Colton. Um... And then Quack Attack V2 tipped us with another. I like, I appreciate people that take the um, time to put 69 cents in there. It kind of covers like the cost of the of processing. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. With the addition of the Coke Bros to the KF tag team division, when will, be, when will they be getting their championship tag team match? Or since they're both champs already, hashtag champ to champ, should KF just give them the tag titles by default? What I love about these new characters is that the LaCroix boys are two people that don't like LaCroix, and the Coke brothers have one guy who doesn't like. Diet Coke. Coke. Yeah. Um, it just doesn't really fit the messaging, honestly. Mm -hmm. And then in the next party mode, you meet another tag team. There's another <laughs> tag team that I, yeah. The laziest tag the team laziest in the history tag team. of kind of funny tag teams, which given I, the history fair, is like kind of a big deal. To be fair, I really like this new tag team. It's really funny. Yeah. It, it goes live for patrons on Wednesday and then the following Wednesday for everybody else. Um, it's stupid. The real question is what configuration do we have that could take down whoever they are at any given the time. The Minority Report can take anyone down. That's why I, I agree. You know, like put your mask hey, on. Strength in numbers. Exactly, dude. And we got the numbers. Wait, my yeah. mask? I don't know who. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm sorry. I don't wear the mask. I'm sorry. Alejandro Pastor wears the mask. Of course. Yeah. Easily confusable. Yeah. We sound the same, but one of them just goes, hey, way. A little bit more. Man, you did a really good Al Pastor impression. I That's do a great Al Pastor impression. Hey, come that way. Hey, come the bro. That's very impressive. That's it for tips right now. It's getting a little yeah. <clears throat> late, yeah. And we've got some tight really scheduling. Yeah. Fuck. Um, all right, let's just let's just do also the sports. We're not gonna run the graphic. Dun, it's gonna take too long. Dun, 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 oh yeah, dun, I guess dun, play dun, a little dun, bit. Dun. There you go. All right, I just okay. wanted a little taste. Oh, sorry, sorry. Cool. Um, so last night in the NFL, um, Thursday night football, the Texans beat the Dolphins, forty-two to twenty-three, and this really cool, weird play happened. I'm going to show it. Go ahead. Narrate, narrate. What's happening? People Brock Osweil drops back. So does Devontae Parker. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's fucking, that's wacky. Damn, that's that was super really cool. crazy. That's a wacky ass so, play. Can you explain it for the audio listeners? Yeah, sure. So Brock Osweil throws a ball to a guy and then he gets hit immediately. The, the wide receiver gets, like, he looks like he's getting his bell rung. The ball pops off, hits a defender in the chest, and it flies forward about 10 yards to another Dolphins receiver. 12 yards, I guess. Yeah. And then, uh, the yeah, so Isn't it looks, it should have been an incompletion, but they got lucky. Isn't That's, that 20 yards? Wait, from where he gets hit? Yeah. I mean, he gets hit at the, at 50, the 50 and he goes to the 42, or uh, 38. Oh, okay. You're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. Crazy. That's it's crazy. That's cool play. Um, so anyway, yeah, so the uh, uh, Deshaun Watson scored five touchdowns. Uh, Dodgers are down 0-2. You're happy about that, Joey. Um, last night, the Lakers got their second win of the season. They're 2-3. and three. But more importantly, on Monday, they lost to the Spurs, baby. Go Spurs, go, baby. Go Spurs, go. Woo! They're probably going to beat them today, though, but that goes without saying. So I don't know. Like, I don't, I'm not current on basketball stuff. Do the Spurs ever play the Warriors? Yeah, they're in the Western Conference. Okay. Yeah. Um, would you ever go see them play Oracle? No, because no. they would lose, mm. and I would be mad. Just around a bunch of, I would be so salty around a bunch of Golden State Warriors fans. Got it. I Just hate wondering. doing that. I hate going to bars and trying to watch my team play. Because yeah. inevitably there's like eight guys rooting against your team, and you just hate them. Especially when you're the out of town team. Yeah, I exactly. Used to feel that way in Orange County. Oh, uh, we should read the ads. We have some <gasps> ad reads true. to read. Definitely got to do that. Um, we have a giveaway, and we give away some games. But in order to give away games, we have to uh, read from our lovely sponsors here. MeUndies. You've heard of success about MeUndies and all the amazing colors and prints they offer. But guys, did you know that MeUndies also makes the world's most comfortable lounge pants and tees? I read so much better than Nick Scarfino. <laughs> With fall finally here, now is the perfect time to put these cozy essentials to the test. The lounge pants are made from the same micromodal fabric as their undies. Uh, Joey, I want you to make sure that I'm not making any mistake. Anytime I stumble, go ahead and make a little tick mark, okay? okay? Punch throw. Oh, God. I need a buzzer. Let me tell you, you'll be in fall heaven when you cover your entire bottom half with fabric that is three times softer than cotton. The best part, when you join the membership, 
You can get all the stuff, lounge pants, tees, and undies, everything MeUndies makes for less than anyone else. Special member pricing is just one of the perks of joining the membership. Kind of stumbled a bit there, Joy, but it's all good. I got lost on where you were, so it's fine. That's fine. That's very. That's fine no. about that. Yes. What's this? It's a buzzer. So oh, cool. Thank you. Um, I've said it time and time again. Uh, Tim loves the undies. You've seen Greg wear them and pull them and show them off to everybody. Sometimes it's uh, it gets unfortunate, but it's all good. What's this? What are you doing, Kim? I'm sorry. I'm just going to move the buzzer so I can see. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, they love them. They love their underwear. They claim that it's the softest thing ever, and I felt them. On it, on their bodies is what I'm saying. So, uh, MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. Any first-time purchasers, when you purchase any MeUndies, get 15% off and free shipping. It's a no-brainer. Get 15% off your pair of the most comfortable undies you'll ever put on. I said comfortable really well there. I'm really happy with that. Emphasize to get the team. to get 15% off your first pair, free shipping and 100% satisfaction guarantee. Go to MeUndies.com/morning. That is MeUndies.com/morning. Before we get into the next ad, I want people to queue up their questions and comments in the chat so we can jump right into them. Yeah, do that, guys. Do that. Uh, StockX is our next sponsor. Ever wonder how to get the hottest new sneakers? The ones that barely hit shelves? The answer is StockX, a revolutionary new marketplace for buying and selling 100% authentic sneakers, streetwear, watches, and handbags. I like looking at the camera, too, Joey. Nick doesn't do that. No. I like looking at the camera, engaging with the audience. Millions are already using StockX to find everything after it sells out. From the latest Yeezys to every retro Jordan to the hottest new streetwear from brands like Supreme, Bape, is that how you pronounce it? You're, we, I'm going to count that question. as not a mistake. I'm going <clears> to <throat> count that as not a mistake for me. Palace and Kith. Every, uh, I messed up there. <laughs> There's no sound. Oh. <laughs> Why is it that? Okay. It's just the intro to immigrant song. Guys. Even allows users to buy and sell pre-owned excellent condition luxury handbags and watches from brands like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Gucci, Rolex, Omega, Tudor, and more. I love saying Gucci just because Nick says it all the time. Um, he used the same principles as the stock market uh, to make buying and selling as safe and easy as possible. Real-time market data for intelligent buying and selling. Best of all, StockX has removed all of the risk from buying and selling online. Total anonymity between buyer and seller. StockX is in the middle so you never have to deal with a random buyer or seller again. Guys, go to stockx.com slash morning. StockX, now you know. Oh man. Today, our winner comes from the kind of funny Patreon. It's Jawad Kokar. You've won Deliver Us the Moon Fort Fortuna? Fortuna? Yeah. On Steam. I feel like this is celebratory. You won the game! Oh. Apparently, every time it plays like a different section of the song. Oh, that's cool. I didn't Interesting. Know that. Really <laughs> weird. Do it one more time. Do it one more time. I don't Maybe think not. it does. Maybe I just didn't hear it. Yeah, no, you didn't. Okay. Cool. Yeah, let's go into uh, let's go into the chat, guys. Um, but really quick, I want to show this Internet of the Week clip. Kevin, can you bring this up? Give me two seconds. Oh, we got to do the graphic too. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, we haven't incorporated it yet. All good. Internet of the Week. Internet of the week. The cow with lasers. Sung by me, <laughs> sound effects by Corey, you know. and everything by Courtney. Corey. Um, uh, this clip made me laugh. This happened uh, this past Saturday. L tiny ass uh, defensive back, probably my height. Just it just gets exploded. <laughs> Why are you that cocky if you're yeah, that dude yeah, again? Let's, let's watch it again. You it. have no reason to be challenging people when you're just gonna get run over by someone like a foot taller than you. <laughs> It's so embarrassing. And it didn't really look like the other guy was putting like that no, much effort into it. He just kind of jogged. It was yeah. a light jaunt. Anyway, yeah, uh, Cuba uh, questions, comments, and concerns. Uh, Dequat says, Andy, a couple months ago, you allowed me to play Fortnite with you on stream. It really dug me out of depression hole. Thank you for, oh, thanks. Uh, thanks for hanging out and playing. Appreciate it. Academic Pig says, is there any movie remake that you like more than the original? That's Ooh. an interesting question. Any movie remake? That's really hard to a say. remake. I don't know about, I, I feel really, like, Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Have you guys watched the movie Arthur? We talked about it recently. I think Greg was talking shit about it. Sounds familiar. I'm King looking Arthur. it up. Arthur. Nope, not the Arthur mm. cartoon. <laughs> Who's any pitch on? Uh, it's Brandon Russell. I also don't know. You don't like Russell anything? Brand. Oh, Russell that's, Brand. That's it, sorry. <laughs> um, a drunken playboy stands to lose a wealthy inheritance when he falls for a woman his family doesn't like. 
The original one is great. Absolutely fantastic. But the remake, there's just something about it that's fucking magical. It might be that... Is it Do- Zoe Deschanel that's that's the... It's just an all-around it's sweetheart, Jennifer Garner. I guess. Oh, it's Jen- no. Yeah. Is it? No, Jennifer Garner is like the bad lady. Oh. I just looked at the... She was billed on the top. Right, Dudley right, Moore right. and Liza Minnelli in the original. You know what? I, I didn't see the original, but the remake that I liked uh, was that movie about... Well, no, <laughs> it's a movie... Does that count, then, if you didn't see the original? Ah, oh, God. What's it called? It's like... Spook- it's a scary movie about vampires, Spooky Night. It's kind of like a oh, comedy. Oh, Let the Right One In? No. 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 Gosh, chat. You gotta you gotta let me know here. A scary movie about vampires. And it's not it's more like a horror comedy. Horror comedy about vampires. Give us you just a little it? bit little I bit just, more. I'm, uh, just Fright us... Night. Fright Night. Oh. I like that. I like that Which remake. One's Fright Night. Yeah, people are saying Fright Night. Uh, um, in, in the chat, Sherman Cool says it. Now I don't know if I like it more than the original, but, but I it's really, good. really yeah. liked I think I have to wait till both are out to make a Decision on oh, that. Oh, got it. Like the but, second half. Yeah, but right now, I really like what they did. I like that it's linear and it doesn't jump around. People are saying what we do in the shadows, but that's not that doesn't have that an was, original, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that is like a that's its own horror thing. comedy. Yeah. Vampire thing. Oh, they were trying to... Yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Um, Longest Yard remake was way better. I didn't watch the original, but I really like the Longest Yard remake. The, the whole bit with uh, Terry Crews... Being the guy who smuggles in McDonald's is like mm-hmm. one of the funniest running bits throughout that whole Wait, movie. Are, are we not doing this clip? No. Okay. We're out of time. Um, people are saying the John Carpenter remake of the thing. I've never. I didn't know there was one before that. I. To be honest. Yeah, me either. I believe it's different. Okay. I I, I want to say it's more of a reimagining. Hmm. Interesting. And people are also saying the fly. I've only ever seen the original. I haven't seen the second one with or the remake with Jeff Goldblum. Wait. I didn't know that was original. I thought, mm-hmm. oh, wow. Man. Yeah, it's like black and white, and it's like yeah, it's super, super old. I'm sure that it's better just because that movie is very, very old, and it's hard for those movies. Ooh, to Toby old. Blue with The Ringer. Parent Trap. Really good. I love me some Haley Mills. That's really She's good. She's great. But the new, or the new one, the more recent one, is so good with like the uh, new girlfriend for the dad. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Do Natasha. You, uh, uh, Fast and the Furious 8. Fate of the Furious. Great remake. No, no. The worst. Great remake. Uh, D.H. Hannah says Scarface. I, like, I don't think that should count because it's so different. It, again, I would qualify that as a reimagining, not a remake. But I don't know. Isn't that kind of the same thing? Is it? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Mm. But, like, when it varies so much, like, the story is so different. I guess, yeah, you're right. That is just a remake. All right, yeah, Scarface counts then. Shout out to Scarface for being better. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, all right, well, that does it for us, guys. Thank you so much for watching on this beautiful Friday. Joey, you did great. I think I, I did. I think I was, like, just up to par. I think, I, I, was, think... I, think I was good enough, essentially. Um, okay. Kevin, you were fantastic, honestly. Bringing up all those clips of Matthew Lawrence. I've never to, seen I, you I work better and quicker and more efficiently. I Thank really you. appreciate Thank that. You. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hit us up on YouTube. Look at the comments. Or, or, not, or look at them, but also comment down below. YouTube.com slash kind of funny. Watch this video. We'll be in there replying to people. Uh, follow Joey on Twitter. Twitter.com slash Joey Noel. Yep. I am Maximum Cortez. And Kevin is kind of funny Kevin. Wait, one more from the chat. Uh, not the sli- Lysander. Lysander. Yeah, it says Mission Impossible. Another one where I don't really... Is that... Is that a remake or is that a continuation of the story? Because the way I understood, those are continuation of the story, like, and that's like why. Like the new Bond kind of a thing. Like it's Bond where it's just new ones. Yes. Mm. Yes. Sure. Too fast, too furious. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we love you. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there for if you're trick or treating and all that stuff. We love you. That's not this weekend. It's next weekend, right? No, it's this weekend. You can adult trick or treat this weekend. I mean.